first things first, oh my gosh, how are you answering the phone in the first place? You know, this is Roz from Monsters, Inc. We had a patient, I mean, a, uh, an office uh, about a year ago, and I kid you not, the woman answering the phone, call her Lorraine, sounded like Roz. It was like, hello, thank you for calling Monsters Orthodontics. How can I help you? It was the least friendly, least warm, least inviting voice you could ever want to hear. Like, you don't even want to hear that when you're calling the DMV. Like, you hear that voice come through the other end of the receiver, and you're just like, oh, this is going to suck. Like, right out of the gate. So, one, you got to be present. You got to be aware of your tone. You got to, you know, we love to answer the phone. Thank you for calling Straight Orthodontics. This is Scott. I can help you. Not how can I help you. You're kind of, again, subtly going from a, a, a place of surety, of confidence that I can help you. Like, whatever you need, I'll help. So thank you for calling. I can help you. So just that extra level of confidence right out of the gate with a cheery, chipper voice is going to make a much better experience than if they got Roz on the next call. Secondly, avoid the term hold. No one wants to be put on hold. Just ask, will you please excuse me for a minute? And especially if you can give them a little bit of context, think of it kind of like the deli counter. If you walk up to the deli counter and Logan's standing here with the ticket, says number 42, and you go take your ticket and it says 48, you don't jump in front of Logan. You're like, yes, I'd like three pounds of... You understand that the, you are in a line. There's a spatial relationship here. We all have at least a basic modicum of respect for our fellow man. If you tell someone when they call, hey, yes, thanks so much for calling Straight Orthodontics. You know, I'm actually finishing up with a patient who's here right in front of me. Can you give me just two minutes? Will you please excuse me? If you'll do that, then you can step away from the call and they have that context of knowing, oh, she's wrapping up with that other patient. No big deal. I'll be, you know, I'll be next in line. It gives them that little bit of extra context so they don't get impatient. To make it a wow call, you want to think about what am I saying? Like, is it sincere? Are you comfortable with your scripting? And I don't mean scripting like you got to memorize every word, but just the way you're delivering it. Does it sound like you're actually saying it? Or does it sound like you're checking the box? Secondly, how am I saying it? What's your pitch in your tone? There's a big difference between, okay, and uh, what's your birthday? Okay, yeah, and can you go and give me your insurance? Versus like, hey, awesome, thanks so much, Stacey. By the way, what's your birthday? Like just that little extra bit of sincerity, of tone, of pitch, like it just warms them up altogether. And then next, am I focused? There's nothing more important than that new patient call right now because that is the first link in the chain. And if that link breaks, they never get to a start. Like you never even get the shot at converting them because they never came in in the first place. So you got to keep them on that idea of, you know, are you focused with what you're talking about? Mm -hmm.